Recording. All right, so check this out. This is a 2009 Ducati Monster M1100. So if you go back in my videos and you look up uh, Monster 1100, M1100, from October of 2020, you'll see my last walk around of this bike. So a buddy of mine bought this bike back in 2020. He was the third owner of this bike. Um, first owner had it for a year, second owner had it for almost nine, ten years. Um, the second owner rode it all of about two or three times and decided riding in Atlanta was too scary and just stored it away. And then my buddy came along and he saw this bike and fell in love with it. And just about fibly so, this bike is awesome. So my buddy bought this bike. It had 8,300 miles exactly on the clock. In my last walk around video, you can watch the video. You can see where I turned the key, 8,300 miles even. <clears throat> the bike currently has 8,500 miles on it. So my buddy had it for three years. He put about 150 miles on it. Good for him, he's older. He doesn't ride much. He just wanted a bike that he could put in his house and say it was his and polish it and look at it. Um, but a couple weeks ago, my buddy Kurt called me up and said, Hey, Mike, um, I want to sell my Ducati Monster. I need you to sell it for me. And, you know, without skipping a beat, I said, How much do you want for it? And he threw a number out. I said, I'll buy it, I'll pay you for it. So here it is, I own his M1100. I love this bike. Um, you can watch my videos. Um, we put the, the dry clutch cover on it so you can hear the sounds that Ducati was meant to have. We did put the black braided brake lines on it. We put the shorty levers on it. We put a radar detector on it. We put a Givi tank bag on it. We did put tires on it. Look, they're like brand new, but they are pretty old. Um, I'll probably wear these tires out. Those are the Metzler M7RRs. He liked those tires, so that's what we put on there. I will probably wear them out. They are a little bit older than what I normally like to ride tires on. Um, we, we did put the uh, heated grips on it. Uh, radar detector, I think I said already. We put a Givi tank bag on it. Um, if you jump up, turn the key on. I rode this thing for, I don't know, 100 and... 180 some miles or something like that on Saturday. So the bike's got 8644 right now. That is not a lot of miles. I'm here to tell you that is not a lot of miles. Um, uh, one thing I did notice when I picked it up, somehow the handlebar top clamp got cracked. Um, so I ordered another one. For those of you that didn't know, the M1100 and the Monster 696 share a lot of parts. They share body parts. Um, there's a lot of things that are interchangeable. So I was hoping that this would be interchangeable. If we look at it, if we look at it, this part number and the part number on this one are exactly the same. Um, the difference is on the 696, the handlebar is much smaller on the 1100 this is milled out so um yeah it's it's a bigger handlebar there so i've got the correct one coming it'll be here soon they do have some really nice billet uh, handlebar top clamps available um, i didn't figure i wanted to spend that much when the tank bags on you can't really see that anyway and truthfully Nobody else cares but you. But anyway, I have, uh, I now own this 
2009 um, Monster Dark. I love this bike. I love it. The day that Kurt bought it, if he wouldn't have bought it, I would have bought it. Um, the bike's just awesome. When I got this thing home back in 2020, and again, watch those videos of me servicing this thing. Um, I went through this whole bike. I've got to do it again. I'm going to have to put new fluid in. The fluids are the wrong color. You can, you can look. The brake fluid doesn't look too bad, but it's still darker than what I like to see. Um, the oil's been sitting in this thing for three years. The belts, I've got the belts coming. They'll be replaced soon. It's cheaper to spend that $100 on new belts than it is to replace those heads when your belt breaks. But man, I love this bike. I love this bike so much when I serviced it the first time and I took it out for the test ride. And that test ride, that 150 miles that Kurt put on it, that test ride could have been 100 miles that I did, um, just making sure that everything was good for him. Because he did not ride this bike very often. He spent more time polishing it than he did riding it. But I loved the bike so much when I serviced it that I went ahead and I bought my own. So this one is one that I bought. Uh, I looked for a black one. I, I couldn't find a black one anywhere. I did find this silver one and the silver one had, it, this, this silver one actually had less miles on it than the black one did when we bought the black one. And I bought it for about $1,000 cheaper than we paid for the black one. Uh, but that's how, you know, times change. We bought this one that that was the number the guy wanted to sell it for. I couldn't get him down any lower, even after everything needed to be repaired. I tried to lay it out, you know, that he had about $30,000 in repairs for a bike that had been sitting for 10 years and the seller didn't want to hear it. But my buddy loved this bike so much that he was willing to pay anything. So he bought it. Now I have it. Um, but yeah, I've, I've already ordered stuff. I've ordered the belts. I've ordered a black pressure plate. Um, it's a black pressure plate with a machined face on it, um, directional with um, stainless springs and uh, silver caps. So that's going to look pretty good. I do have the handlebar clamp coming. The bike's already got EBC HH pads in it. I did that three years ago. Um, the, the bike really doesn't need anything. Uh, it's a great bike and uh, I'm looking forward to um, keeping it in my stable for many, many, many years to come. I, I mainly bought it so when my silver one over there, if anything happens to my silver one, I have this one as a backup or you know, the silver one will become spare parts for this one. Uh, I rode this thing on Saturday. I went to um, Deals Gap Motorcycle Resort and parked this out front. And uh, a lot of people, a lot of people stopped and looked at this because you don't really see too many older Ducati monsters. Uh, they did the same though when I had the '96 Monster a, a few years ago. I used to ride that yellow 900 Monster people would always stop and look at it and check it out. But yeah, this is um, my, my next 2009 M1100. I'm happy it's part of my stable along with all my other bikes and all the other toys that I have. And uh, I don't see myself getting rid of this thing ever. So no time soon anyway. Um, thanks for watching my video. Please click on some of my other videos. Um, hit me up with any questions. I'm always here to help you all out.